I'm sitting here on top of a bunker. And that's quite remarkable. Because this bunker sits in a beautiful park, like at the shore of the Lake of Zurich. People even have to squeeze around it when they want to, when they want to walk down the lake. And you know what? It's going to stand here for quite a while because it's under Swiss heritage law, protected. Why is that? Back in, in, in 1940, World War II, the Swiss had a defense strategy. They decided to defend the Swiss Alps, with, which are in front of me, right from this spot. So everything behind me would be Germany, and everything in front of me would be Switzerland. As ridiculous as this sounds today, it was quite serious back in 1940. Defense is our topic today. World War II is long gone, but this will not be the last war societies fight. Especially here in Europe, we need to defend our cherished human rights. I came across a defense company when I helped a client search for large European stocks with good Obermott ranks. And one defense company actually caught my eye because of its name, Rolls-Royce. Now this was surprising to me. Defense is a hot topic right now because of all the hostilities going on. So a defense company should actually be expensive. Why does Rolls-Royce have good Obermott ranks? Let's look at the numbers. This time, I want to look behind the Obermott ranks. I want to know the numbers behind them. A good place for that is the London Stock Exchange. They have all the financial and news. Especially interesting are the fundamentals. The company is huge. 16 billion pound market capitalization. They pay good dividends at around 3%. And they have low leverage. The net gearing was only 8.68% as of the last reporting. This explains the good Obermott safety ranks. I also looked at the news. All recent news actually increased the share price as you can see here. Since Rolls-Royce doesn't make cars anymore, I wonder who owns it today. Ownership information wasn't available on the London Stock Exchange. I couldn't find it on the company website either. Sometimes companies list their major shareholders, but at the Rolls-Royce website, this information was not available. I found the answer on Market Screener. Rolls-Royce has a broad shareholder base, as you can see here. All the big investors are professional fund managers. On the same website, I found the recent analyst recommendations. And that's interesting. Hardly any changes. The analyst recommendations have been flat over the recent months. I wonder why is that? I do an internet search, but Google provides no interesting news, just a lot of generic content. I call this internet spam. So I went to the Financial Times website, which you see here. The Financial Times reveals the current troubles of Rolls-Royce. They had problems with one of the engines they sell to the airline industry. These ancient problems could cost the company as much as one billion. This even affects the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, so it's serious. There is also a fraud case hanging over the company. Despite all that bad news, management cooperates fully. They are totally transparent about everything. And the financial community likes that. Don't forget, the past doesn't matter. It's already priced in. We only have to look at the future. Only changes in the future affect future share prices. Of course, there could be more bad news. But I trust with management reactions that this is it. There's nothing more under the hood. So I decide to buy Rolls-Royce. This is my decision. And I wish you success with your decision.